it looks like the Bundesliga, Germany's top flight league, might have the next big striker coming out as a total baller. In a summer transfer window that witnessed jaw-dropping deals like Manchester United splurging $75 million on Rasmus Hoyland and Paris Saint-Germain committing a staggering $160 million for Colo Muani and Gonzalo Ramos, there's a name that's sparkling a different kind of buzz. Bayer Leverkusen's modest 20 odd million investment in Victor Boniface could very well become the steal of the decade. With 5 goals in all competitions, already Already since joining Dai Workself, the 22 year old is already serving notice of his ability and has strong praise from manager Xabi Alonso, who, in an interview with Bild, describes Boniface as not just a classic striker, not just a regular poacher. He does everything well, Alonso said. Not only with this game, he helps the team. That, to me, says everything I need to know about the player. He really does seem like a selfless guy by the look of it. This isn't just another football story, it's the emergence of a potential game changer. So what sets Victor Boniface apart? Could Victor be the hidden gem that's been missing in European football for a while? Stick around as we delve deep into his skills, his character, and the impact he can make on European football. A product of the Real Sapphire Football Academy in Lagos, Nigeria, he took his first steps in Europe at just 18, joining Norwegian side Bodo slash Gimt. Quietly, that club has become a key staging post for developing talent. In recent years, Jens Peter Hauge, Patrick Berg, Eric Botham, and Joel Mbuka have all been sold for significant seven-figure fees. Most recently, midfielder Ugo Betlesen joined Club Bruges for nearly eight million. On arrival in northern Norway in 2019, Boniface looked like he, too, would just be passing through. However, within two weeks of joining Glimt, he damaged a cruciate ligament in training. He was young and didn't know anybody in his new country, and he was immediately faced with six months of recovery. But he would win that battle, and his comeback was quite something. Within a year, he had recovered to become a force in Norwegian football and was ready to step towards Europe's main stage. A move Move to Club Bruges was close to being agreed when, cruelly, disaster struck for the second time. In November of 2021, Boniface damaged his cruciate ligament again. This time, it was way more serious. He wouldn't play again for over 12 months. So before Boniface had even turned 20, he had already suffered a career's worth of misfortune. As he recovered from that second injury, his mother also passed away, and with twin punches of professional and personal devastation left them adrift, on the verge of walking away from the game entirely and in the grip of depression. I lost interest in football, he told journalist Ojora Babatunde in April of 2022. I forgot about my diet, I began to eat everything. I started living a normal life and just wanted to be happy. I started partying and drinking. Again though, he would be back. This time, it would be to perform a footballing quantum leap. He would score a goal every two games for Glimt in the season following his return, and a move to Belgium rematerialized to Union saint Gilles last summer. It was the perfect stage. Boniface would finish as a top scorer in the 2022-2023 Europa League alongside Marcus Rashford of Manchester United. And what do I think of this signing, might you ask? So the first thing that I love and like about this player is that he's willing to risk his individualistic statistics for the betterment of the team. We really don't see that a lot in strikers, especially in young strikers nowadays. It's a a fresh of breath air when it comes to strikers. Another little thing that I like to bring is that obviously his story is amazing. And I love that his story comes from a poor background and a lot of resilience in it as well. He is a young player that loves to improve every single day. And by the looks of it, I hope that he'll have a long career in the sport. I also think that the Bundesliga will provide him a lot of opportunities for him to shine. The reason why I'm saying this is the competition might not be up to par with maybe the English league or another league as well. So I think the step from where he came from 
is a really good challenge for him at the moment. And I wouldn't be surprised if he were to get bought out by an English team in the future. I actually wouldn't be surprised if he got bought for around 100 million pounds or something like that. The market right now is so crazy that anything is possible, to be honest. So in terms of my opinion about the player, that's essentially pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are amazing. Until the next one, peace out.